How to counter skull merchant explainer in two minutes ready go there are two types of drone modes there's the active mode which has the orange circular zone and there's the scouting mode which is two scanning yellow lasers when a drone is first place it starts in active mode stay out of the zone at all costs because if you stay inside of it for 10 seconds you'll be fully exposed for a minute which isn't worth it no matter what you'll always be tracked if you're inside the zone so you can't hide behind objects or even inside lockers but if you're at the edge of the zone you only get tracked if the majority of your body is inside of it so if you can work on a gen that's right outside of the zone without getting scammed do it and ignore the drone and if you're really good at looping and you could take a hook go inside of an active mode and get exposed on purpose to make the killer chase you and draw them away from the objective if no survivors scan inside the drone's active mode for 20 seconds then goes to the scouting mode you can actually hide behind objects and cut your line of sight from the scanning lasers so if you can stay inside of the zone and work on objectives without getting scouted just ignore the drone to reach the drone to eventually hack it you can also hide behind objects to make it easier or just run in a diagonal line and cut back and then you'll reach the drone as fast as possible but be careful because if you step inside of a laser you'll get a quad trap and the drone will go back to the active mode after reaching a scouting mode drone and hacking it a successful hack will give you a claw trap and disable the drone for 10 seconds before giving it back to the killer but if you fail the hack you'll get fully exposed and the drone will go back to active mode if a drone is in an important location you should hack the drone as soon as it gets to scouting mode but if a drone is in a dead zone you should just ignore it and not hack it and if you already have a claw trap on you it's best that you keep hacking all the drones so that the other three survivors can keep working on objectives untracked if a killer places a drone mid chase just run to the next loop and you won't get affected by the drone and if you can try looping near drones that are already placed down so the killer can't place a drone on your current loop without recalling the original drone and if you're in a chase and you're already injured don't worry about avoiding active mode drones because if you get exposed it wouldn't have mattered anyways